Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Zipline and Walmart begin drone delivery. Also, Dream Chaser spacecraft bankrolled for development. And former Volocopter founder completes prototype. Welcome to Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Zipline and Walmart begin drone delivery. Residents at Pea Ridge, Arkansas are set to enjoy Walmart's new on-demand delivery service with a driver a little out of the ordinary. For those within range of the neighborhood market Walmart location, orders for select health and wellness items and a variety of consumable items will be delivered by a zipline drone to their front door. After announcing the offering of autonomous delivery in 2020, Walmart and Zipline have been creating a 25-foot platform to act as a miniature airport of sorts, necessary to provide enough room to safely take off and land, as well as house the aircraft and flight operations crew. At full capacity, the system is hoped to serve as a 50-mile radius. The system is now available for use for local eligible customers. Interested parties must place an order through the Zipline app, select from a curated selection of appropriately deliverable goods, and receive the package at their home. Zipline began in 2016 and has logged over 200,000 commercial deliveries of almost 5 million units of medical supplies across the world. Their integration with Walmart's extensive delivery network could make them a potent contender in the market if they could deploy launch infrastructures throughout the 3,000 stores owned by the company. After these messages, we have new updates about Dream Chaser and those developments, those details after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind, We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Samad joins hands with Aerosud. Samad Aerospace has signed a memorandum of understanding with South African Outfit, Aerosud for the development and manufacture of their upcoming Starlink cargo aircraft. Aerosud's engineering expertise in commercial aerostructure part design and production make it a sound partner as the project moves towards certification. The Starlink cargo aircraft in current design is a remotely piloted aircraft with autopilot capability with a cruising speed of 83 knots and a range of 120 nautical miles. Rocket Lab launches 107th satellite. Rocket Lab's most recent Love at First Insight mission was arranged by Black Sky through Space Services, provider Spaceflight Inc., and made for Electron's 22nd launch from Rocket Lab's Complex One in New Zealand. The successful launch enabled the delivery of two Black Sky Gen 2 Earth imaging satellites into a circular orbit at an altitude of almost 270 miles. The addition grows Black Sky's constellation of real-time geospatial monitoring spacecraft and marks the 107th satellite placed by Rocket Lab. NASA responds to Russian anti-SAT test. 
Russian Elon satellite Cosmos 1408 was turned into a cloud of high-speed debris by a Russian anti-sat test. The long-defunct Selena-D satellite was replaced in service in 1994 and has been inoperative for decades, making it a possible target for anti-satellite technology testing. The creation of the debris cloud worried observers and NASA personnel. Due to the initial proximity of the satellite and the International Space Station prior to the weapons test, NASA protested. Aero TV at Expo 21 Ascent Aero Systems intros the spirit. Here are some more features from Expo 21 that are being published. Check out the latest where Peter Fuchs, CEO of Ascent Aero Systems, speaks to the Aero News Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell about his company's unorthodox coaxial drone, the spirit. The cylindrical drone differs from a field of quad rotor competitors being modular, compact, rugged, and all weather. He says their UAS is perfect for vital operations in all conditions for public safety, defense, and any other critical mission. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Dream Chaser spacecraft bankrolled for development. Sierra Space has appeared to be an underdog in the efforts to secure past NASA contracts with a heretofore unmanned vehicle that has the potential to eventually carry astronauts. In 2014, it was passed over for a chance to fly personnel for the agency and rebuffed upon appeal. After securing a contract to fly cargo and supplies to the ISS, things began looking up for a time. Now, five years on and $1 billion spent, the spacecraft still has not flown a mission. Sierra Space announced a successful Series A funding round that is hoped to get the Dream Chaser off the ground with $1.4 billion in investments. With their accounts returned to health, the company says it could have astronauts flying aboard the spacecraft by 2025. The funding round was a break from tradition for the company, bringing the outside investors and additional scrutiny from outside the organization. The expansion may signal a broadened scope for the outfit as they try to build their name as a professional major player in the nascent commercial space industry. Taking on contractors like Boeing head-on is a daunting task, but the continued success of SpaceX proves that a pedigree measured in decades isn't the bare minimum for entry into the new space race. Coming up after the break, former Volocopter founder completes prototype. Those details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal. 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back, former Volocopter founder completes prototype. Thomas Sinkel made eVTOL and AAM history with his pioneering work on Volocopter. Nii Volo as one of the founding members and testers of their multi-copter air taxi aircraft. After five years with the company, he split in 2016. He partnered with Michael Kugelgen to start eMagic. Their focus on a hybrid fixed-wing multi-rotor system results in an aircraft with longer range, greater efficiency, and vastly improved 
flight characteristics when compared to a standard rotor-based eVTOL. The difference between Sankel's newest design and his previous Volocopter 2X are striking. The E-Magic can cruise up to an hour with a range of 120 miles. Its aerodynamic form boasts much better speeds, cruising at 78 knots and good for a max speed of 92 knots. The long-superseded 2X pales in comparison, only capable of less than 30 minutes of flights for 17 miles of range and a top speed of 55 knots. It would seem his former colleagues at Volocopter have taken some of his advice to heart in their newest long-range Voloconnect aircraft release in spring 2021. The aircraft combines many of the same design characteristics of their original aircraft with elongated wings and banks of rotors not too far removed from the E-Magic's basic layout. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.